Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Three Floyds Backmasking. This is their Imperial Oatmeal Stout, and this is a super duper fresh bottle. At time of recording, this is just a little bit over two weeks old, so very cool stuff. Now, if you guys don't know what the term backmasking refers to, it's basically a technique in music recording where you record either like a sound or a message or something like that backwards onto a track that is supposed to be played forwards. Of course, you guys probably know this from popular examples like Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin, so... Cool stuff. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, that's really nice. Up front, I definitely get a lot of chocolate. It's like milk chocolate, maybe a little bit of bittersweet dark chocolate. I get some fruity notes on the back end, too, and it's more like dried fruit. It's kind of like dried plums, maybe a little bit of raisins in there, too, but it's definitely this dried fruit character. Getting some subtle coffee, a little bit of roasted notes as well. But yeah, smells real nice. It's not particularly hoppy, so yeah, that's a first for Three Floyds. All right, let's go ahead and take our first sip. Mmm, that's nice. Up front, I definitely get that big chocolate taste, milk chocolate, bittersweet dark chocolate. And then that fades into this kind of creamy, almost slightly burnt kind of taste from the coffee. Because there's definitely like this roasted coffee or kind of like a slight espresso note in there too. Mm. Definitely getting some caramel and toffee. A little bit of almost like a vanilla type of sweetness on the back end. And then as it finishes and it sits on my palate, I definitely get that big roasted malt backbone. And then I'm also getting the really nice dried fruit. Again, just kind of like maybe prunes, raisins, dates, definitely for sure, like darker fruit. But it's definitely in there. Really nice beer. A little bit more complex than I was thinking because a lot of oatmeal stouts, even imperial ones, don't have a ton of complexity. But this one's drinking really nice. It's definitely on the fuller side of medium for a body. It's got a very creamy palate coating type of mouthfeel to it. I mean, really, really nice. You get that just really full, creamy mouthfeel from the oatmeal that's really awesome. I mean, very. it's almost kind of got that chewy, viscous kind of nature going on, which is great. In terms of the alcohol, I can't taste it. I don't smell it. I don't even really get any warmth as it goes down. So for being 8%, this is scary drinkable. Yeah, very nice stuff. It's got a really nice kind of balanced taste to it because the caramel and that toffee, milk, chocolate kind of sweetness really balances out with that more kind of bitter, dark chocolate, that coffee, a little bit of like espresso, that roasted malt, and then those dark fruits in there too. But very nice stuff. I'd be interested to see how this one ages since it already kind of has that dried fruit character. I imagine as time goes on, you know, that'll just intensify. But as of now, it's drinking really nice. It's smooth. If you guys like oatmeal stouts, I think this is one of the better ones out there. So definitely check it out. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with 9 out of 10. Just a really enjoyable beer. Something that's not overly complex, but it's it definitely has a lot more characteristics from like other kind of styles than, a, you know, a typical oatmeal stout and it is super duper smooth all right guys that does for this beer review please remember to rate comment and subscribe and remember i hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer see ya